Hey, hey guys, I am still Mr. Right Way on today's video. Guys, mm, today is a day that I dreamed of. I actually dreamt this day. Now, as you see in the title, we see GameCube stuff, right? Oh my goodness, guys. These are the days that game hunters like me and you out there you dream of finding so much GameCube. But that's not all guys. We not only found a lot of GameCube, we found so much more. So let's get right into the video and let's see what we found and what we add into the collection today guys because oh I am so so excited! So excited! Let's get into it. <laughs> Yo, I just got the biggest score in a while at games. <laughs> well, at Goodwill. I'm saying games. I'm so excited. Look at this. Y'all, this is what I've been dreaming about. I promise you, I've always dreamed about going into Goodwill and finding freaking GameCube games. Freaking oh, Paper Mario for $2? And it's, well, it's not complete. Oh well, it needs a manual, but still. Oh, Mario, the only thing is, Luigi Mansion, it has Mario Golf. I was gonna get that to my wife, but oh well, we can find it later. A lot of good stuff. And a freaking PS4 controller. Dog, y'all. <laughs> Look at this, $49. I remember having this TV. I mean, just a long time ago, I remember having this TV. This is Zach model. And, yep, this is nice. What model is this TV? So it looks like the aftermath of somebody getting here. <clears throat> they say fight night and family feud, which is unique. Had a best of Christmas. So these two right here are gonna to have to do from right now, which is okay. I don't mind. All right, we're back at home, guys. This is one heck of a Goodwill stop, y'all. I mean, this Goodwill stop was just oh, amazing. As you can see, we got GameCube, we got Wii U, and we got PlayStation 2 stuff. So let us go over everything, starting with the PlayStation 2 stuff right here, Fight Night Round 2. Family Feud. Then we got Iron Man on the Xbox 360. We got NFL Pro Street. On the Wii U, we got Rabbit's Land, which I actually need this one for the collection. We got new Super Mario Bros. U, Mario Maker, Mario Kart 8, and Disney's Affinity. All four of these games right here are extras. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or trade them. 
probably gonna trade him by the time this video comes out. All right, guys, the GameCube games are right here. So let's go over them. So we have Ratatouille. We have Nickelodeon Party Blast. Next we have Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. Then we got Jimmy Neutron. Next we got Open Season. We got Crazy Taxi. Crazy Taxi! We got Super Mario Sunshine. And this is a big one, guys, look. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. <laughs> this is amazing. This was $2 and this game goes over from 100 bucks. We got Super Monkey Ball 2. Next is Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island. So take a look at all the GameCube games right here and some of one of the one Wii U game that I do need. And then here are the PS2 and the Xbox games. Guys, there's a lot of stuff right here, but we're not done. But we're about to go more game hunting and see what else can we find. This is just a tip of it, guys. That Goodwill stop was amazing, guys. We found more PlayStation stuff, and you know that I am a PlayStation guy with a Nintendo hat on. How does that add up? Because I'm a gamer, come on. I love PlayStation, I love Nintendo, I love Xbox. I'm not really a fan of the Xbox Series X right, right now, but that's besides the point, guys. We gonna jump into these games, so let's look at what we got first. First is Frogger complete on the PlayStation. This is a good game. I love finding PlayStation 1 games, especially complete. When I see PlayStation 1 games, guys, I just get, oh, I'm not gonna say it, but I get really excited. I do, I really do, guys. These are just amazing. To find PlayStation 1 games in 2022, you can't go wrong. Then we find True Crimes, New York City. New York City! Yeah, that New York City. This game came out of Activision years ago. It was a lot of controversy on it because, you know, oh, this is not depicted of the New York City Police Department, which, you know, is a good game to put in the collection and a great game to play. Yes, it is complete. As you can see, look, they had a disclaimer. Look at that back in the day. Then we had Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. This is the last Grand Theft Auto on the PlayStation 2 that I needed to complete the subset of all the Grand Theft Autos on the PlayStation 2. Very fun game. It is complete with this nice big old poster. The games, these games at this stop were immaculate. They were great. Didn't have no scratches. They like they've been barely played. And speaking about stuff that's been barely played. <laughs> This next one, guys, look. Oh, look at that, look at that. The Need for Speed Collection series, guys. Three Need for Speed games, three great Need for Speed games. You got Underground 1, what is complete, but then you got Underground 2, and my favorite Need for Speed Most One. These two are sealed. That's crazy, right? It's very uncommon, you don't see it out in the wild, and especially not in this great condition. But if you haven't, let me know, do you enjoy this? Cause this is probably a $60 collection. All three games in there, super great. Oh, these games are fun. I had hours upon hours. Let me know what is your favorite Need for Speed game. And when you're thinking about that, typing that up, let's go find some more games for the collection. All right, so look at this. I don't, this is crazy. Is this Phillips City Eye? That's crazy. Let me just put these over here. Look at this. Hold on. 
that's gotta be Phillips CDI. That is crazy. Phillips? Daddy? I don't know. I don't know this. This is the first time we're seeing something like that. I know it's weird though. That is crazy. Okay. That's crazy. I'm gonna get them, but it's crazy. This is probably the weirdest find, these right here, I've ever seen in Goodwill. Never ever found anything Philip CDI. These are like basic stuff, but it's, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Y'all tell me something. Have you ever seen Philip CDI games? I mean, look at this. Tell me why Compton's, this is a photographer. I really like this one right here. But these games are just weird, y'all. I never ever seen Philip CDI games at a Goodwill. Never have. Never. This is my first time. I'm probably not going to even trade these. I'm going to put these up. These are not worth hardly anything, but just to add something different in the collection is pretty cool. Some of these 3 years games are still cheap right now. Like this one and this one. Got a lot of cheap, cheap games. Okay, so we have this game. This is empty, so we got Minecraft, Assassin's Creed, Pac-Man 2, and Avatar. And then over here is a PlayStation 2 Slim, and it's on 1221. Nice. Dual Shock and all that. What games I'm gonna keep? Uh, I think I might just get that. I don't know. Assassin's Creed, Minecraft. I don't really need. All right, that was a pretty cool stop. Uh, just as I was about to walk out, I saw them bring out games, and it was a PlayStation 2 in there, and a couple games. I'm like, wow. Need to look at this. Flipped it over. It was like 12:21. I was like, amazing. And then I got these games this morning from GameStop. Uh, pretty uncommon, especially this one. A uh, Tokiden 2, it was for 13 bucks. It usually go around about 30 to 40. Same as to Attack on Titan. Both of these games are very, very hard. And then my games from GameStop came in. I ordered for five bucks for these, these two right here. So, I'm probably gonna open this one because you hear the disc in there. I hate when that happens. Might as well open this one right now and check the condition of the disc. On my way now to go uh, trade in some games to get some more games. Yeah, it, it is nice. So let's see what we can add, what games we can get for the collection. see this limited edition Xbox and it's 34 not bad <clears throat> trading is the key as you see when I traded all that junk that I consider junk amazing PlayStation games like Street Fighter EX Alpha. Now this game if you have not played it in my opinion was Street Fighter's version or Street Fighter's answer to Tekken. 
This has had like 3D polygons, 3D polygons, great fighting for Street Fighter. This game is amazing. And this variant right here, guys, with the white label, is part of the Fighter's Edge collection. We've done a video on my channel about that, but we're gonna update that video pretty soon. Now with that trade turn, I did get other PlayStation 1 games. We got Grand Theft Auto, another Grand Theft Auto. We got the director's cut. It has and it has GTA London with this. What's funny about this, guys? If you're not following me on Instagram, please do underscore Mr. Rightway. I put a lot of good games on there. Show you just a little in more depth, and also just if I find something cool before I put it on here, you can see it. But look at this. This came with a map. It has Liberty City in San Andreas. But also, also on the side, they had Vice City. It's like they knew where they wanted to go the whole time. Ah, so, so, so good. And then this game, I have never, ever played, but I always wanted to. So I'm going to put a little bit of footage so you guys can know what I'm talking about. And it's called Jade Cocoon. Never played this RPG. PlayStation has over 1,200 games, probably more than that. But, but going back now as a collector and finding games that I want to play to add to my collection, this is amazing. It's a double disc. You can see. Take a look at the cool. Take a look how cool the CD is. Look at that. That is pretty nice, guys. And the manual. <laughs> look at that. That manual is really nice. And for all you collectors out there, you know we love the registration cards. So, so I'm going to be diving into this game and I'm going to let you know, give you some updates of how this game plays. Then guys, I could not believe that I found here. Look at this. This is Call of Duty Xbox One. This VCR Xbox One. This is the OG, the original. And I did not have this one when it came out. I said, man, I would love to get this. It's a little dusty. Dusty Rose, get back at me. But this thing works. It's so amazing. It was only 30 four dollars look at that that is just such a beautiful console to keep to collect to play i need to clean this bad boy up still a little dusty that has been signed sealed and will be delivered but could not pass this system up ladies and gentlemen we found so many games to the collection guys let me know what was your favorite game and if you missed any of the game hunting videos that I have on my channel. I would love to suggest these playlists that are on the screen, guys. And thank you so much for watching. And always remember to do it the right way. And I will see you next time. Vita means life.